somebody gets hurt. We laugh about it, but it does ring true. Yeah, so how about we make sure that nobody gets hurt and everybody stays safe? Here to help us do that is Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Want to talk about Halloween safety here in just a second. Yes. But first, you were with a very important yes, group. a very special group. Uh, the Sheriff's Office has, uh, for the last several years, been very involved with the Wounded Warrior Program. Right. And uh, there's some groups here locally uh, through the American Legion and Operation We Care that are bringing these wounded warriors down for a day of fun here in Wicomico County. It took about a Nanticoke fishing, but the best part about it is when they got into our county, we gave them a police escort. Nice. Mm. Yes. And just show them how special they were. That's um, nice. And the volunteer firefighters at the fire departments were standing out with their fire equipment saluting them just to let these these folks know what they've done so much for us and our country. Yes. It was a little, this, we can show them how much we appreciate They deserve it. the respect. They deserve it. I wanted to say, by the way, I like your your costume, your Halloween yeah. costume. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, uh, I, went, I went cheap, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I saw my hat in the closet this morning. <laughs> this will work, so this will, this will work. Okay, so we, we brought you on the show to talk about Halloween yes. safety, and before we get to that, I want to touch on the subject of, I guess, Halloween mischief. Okay. Um, Tom Fullery, yes. if you will, you know, uh, there's a fine line between what's safe and what isn't, and well, what's that, criminal. That, that's true because a lot we encourage people to go out and have fun but you're right there is a fine line between having a prank and then becoming vandalism mm -hmm. and once it becomes vandalism that's the problem that we deal with. and we do have folks that will sometimes throw pumpkins through a window uh, or believe yes. it or not we will we, have folks that'll smash large amounts of pumpkins on a roadway and not realizing just how dangerous something like that is good. when a car comes comes oh, along. Oh yeah, you could go wow. sliding, so, lose control. Yes, there, there we do have some, and, or people throw eggs at houses. And yeah, that's not very fun. When you get up in the morning, you got to clean that stuff yeah. up. Don't yeah, don't yeah, all this stuff. You need to find yourself in trouble. Yes. You know, I remember when I went trick or treating. Mm -hmm. Gosh, a couple years ago. <laughs> um, it used to be when I was a kid. See mom and dad back in a while. Yeah. It's not like that anymore, is it? Well, we we've noticed, and I've spent a lot of uh, Halloween nights myself out. On patrol right. and we see a lot more parents out with the kids which is a good thing and the one things we encourage we, we encourage if your kids are going out we want them to go have a good time but make sure that there is either an adult or a responsible older teenager with them mm -hmm. kind of keep them together and to know know where they're going right yeah. and to you know there will be a lot of folks out and to hit some of the more high traveled areas right and if you especially where you see a lot of kids already out trick-or-treating yeah yeah and uh, to trick-or-treating you want to make sure that uh, somebody at least one person has a flashlight with them yeah, that's very good because you can get in some streets uh, especially here in our area once you get outside of the city limits there's a lot there's a lot of neighborhoods where there are no street lights and it's good to allow motorists to see you other people to see you or just in case you get in a situation where, where you need light. So it's yeah. always good to make sure somebody in your group has a flashlight, uh, especially if somebody in your group has a phone in case you've got a call for help or you get lost. Mm -hmm. And to and nothing I want to um, also stress is if, if, if kids find themselves by themselves, don't go into somebody's house that they don't know. Right. Yes, don't be very, very, very uh, cognizant of that. Right. I guess, I guess when it comes to costume, there's some things you should do and you shouldn't do. I see lots of lightsabers and, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and those are a lot of lightsabers are, are fun. <laughs> I see a lot of people walk around, but if you're going out with something, make sure that they're not sharp. Okay. Make sure you don't have something with a with a with a pointed tip or something that if you fall you can either hurt yourself Ooh, yeah. or hurt somebody else. Right. Mm -hmm. And in the bag that you use to yeah. carry your goodies with. Yeah. Make sure it's something that they can hold and carry easily. Okay. They can hold it and, and carry carry easily, mm -hmm. so they're not fumbling and they're able to maneuver. Gotcha. All right. So um, you mentioned a flashlight. I guess shoes are a good idea as well. Good footwear. Good footwear. And, I know it may not may not seem like it, but uh, we we see folks out trick or treating and they'll be wearing the big floppy shoes. Oh. And the trip. Well, I've actually seen people fall down and trip and get. Uh, it's not good. Yeah, it's uh, especially right now. The one thing that worries us a little bit is. How many calls we're going to get Monday night for creepy clown sightings? Oh, oh boy. no. Yep. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the treats. Um, have you seen any problems with tainted candy or anything not, like that? To be honestly, uh, not really. But it always is there as, as a possibility. I encourage parents. I still remember when I was a kid, I was not allowed to eat candy until my mom or dad inspected it. Yeah. Inspect it. Make sure that it's still factory sealed. Right. And if your kids go trick-or-treating and they get something like a uh, popcorn ball or whatever, make sure that they only accept something like that 
from somebody they know, like a close family friend or someone they know. Don't accept something like that from a stranger. I know, and I'm encouraged. Um, people, you know, not to give that kind of stuff out. Right, right. right. And of course, uh, kids. Yes, we grown up. Grown ups do take thirty percent of your candy it, because if we're going to all the trouble to get you out, it's called a candy tax. Okay, just deal with it. Yep, <laughs> Lieutenant Ronaldson. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So thank you much. much.